Guy right over there, new head coach Pope John Paul, Charlie Cryer. Coach, I guess my first question to you is, how are – I mean, you've not coached a game here yet. How are things in terms of just – is it a full mentality change? Is it installing new systems? You know, just where are we at right now in terms of this becoming your program? I, I think uh, it's a little bit of both, you know, but I, I think we're a little bit ahead of where, where I expected us to be right now with this summer. And, um, you know, me coming in and, and, and doing a couple of days in spring and, and, and be getting here in June and – Doing some things after weight training every day. I, I think we've gotten ahead a little bit. We're throwing the ball a lot better. And, uh, you know, me, I'm not going to throw it much anyway, but I can right now and feel comfortable doing it. How are you ahead? Give me, give me some specifics before uh, we start I, talking about specific Offensively, I, I think offensively um, the kids have, have understood my philosophy. Uh, we, we had a long meeting about how intense we are when we coach. And, and uh, you know, I think they've under, bought into that. So, you know, it, it's um, – I think it's it, – you know, that – we've installed some stuff, especially with the passing game, especially with the passing game. And that, that's that's the hardest thing to learn. My running game's not real complicated. I just like to do it. And and uh, I feel comfortable running the ball. And, and But I, I want to be able to do both. And, and I think from what we did in the spring and, and what we've done this summer, I think we're doing a good job of both right now. Your early read on your players as a unit before we start talking about individually, are you pleasantly surprised or is it more of a, oh, my goodness, what the heck did I get myself into? I, 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 David, I, I do believe this. I, I think they're a, a, a tough group of kids. Um, they're, they've worked hard to get themselves in shape. And we, we've been averaging probably 30 a day, you know, and, and that's been a good sign. And we're still missing some that, that did not come back out and play. Why I don't know, and why I don't really care. Uh, you know, I'd like to have them, but you know, I'm going to take what I got, and we're going to go. But uh, the uh, overall, I, I think they're a tough group of kids. How much of last year, what happened, and you know, the years past, it doesn't mean anything. How much of just the kids that are returning a fresh start is that the approach of? I don't care what you did last year. You get a fresh start, and you don't get a lot of chances to start over in life, but you get to with you. I mean, has that been the approach with the kids? I, I, I think uh, with the staff I brought in, and uh, I think they see stability. And I, when I when I first did interview here with you, a, a good sports reporter told me they need stability here. And, and I've, I've been trying to let them know, you know, that, that they have it now. And, and, you know, I want them to believe that because, I, you know, I, I'm – I'm getting older, and, and I, I don't want to move. So, you know, I, I think they, they, they're trusting me a little bit more now, and, and I, I think they're trusting the coaches because they see him every day at weight training. So I, I think that's important. I live here in town. You know, I, I, I live in the, the Dale. I know my buddy Mike calls it the Dale. And, uh, you know, so I, I, I think that, that they're comfortable with me now. All right, let's get into it. Quarterback. Who, who, Jacob, who Blakeman, Jacob Blakeman and um, Georgia Rada. And and I will say this much. We threw this morning before you got here with Pearl River, and, and George did a great job. Jacob did too. But, you know, George is going to be a freshman, and, 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 just, and Jacob's going to be a junior. So I, I really like that age difference between them. And uh, it gets me set for a while, so I like that. But I was real pleased with both of them. And, and, and right now, Justin's a starter, and, and uh, I mean, Jacob's a starter, and he's doing a really good job. Is this a both are going to see playing time at that position, or do you want to, in you know, in a perfect world, I want to have my guy and I want to go with him? Well, I want to have my guy and go with him, but any opportunity I can to get George in the game, to get some game experience, I'd like to, you know, that's the perfect world for me. All right, let's shift to the backfield. Uh, Joey Stofanon. Uh, Joey's a sophomore and tough kid, tough kid. And then uh, backing him up, and or I should say splitting time with him, is, is uh, Brent Fuselay. And Brent had a really good spring guy in the backfield, and Joey's just a rock. Joey, Joey's a downhill runner. You know, he runs tough. He's going to be a 10th grader, and uh, – I feel real good with him back there. And, and Fuselay is a little bit more shiftier, a little bit faster maybe. But uh, Joey's about 180, 
175, and, and he's, he's a down. He reminds me a little bit of my running back I had at PC. You're a running guy. I so am. wide receivers really, you know, you're going to have, you have to throw the ball to keep mm-hmm. teams honest. So talk to me about some of those wide receivers who maybe are going to be used more for their blocking skills as opposed to their pass catching ability. Well, I, I'm going to tell you right now, if they can't block, they're not going to play receiver. So, uh, but uh, I, I want to be able to do both really well. And we're going to spend a lot of time on, on, on blocking and 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 catching. And, uh, you know, I, I've been in a situation where, uh, you know, when I was at BC, I, I, sometimes I'd see 11 in the box. And, uh, you know, we'd have to throw it. I mean, it, we, we, we play White Castle and run for 400 yards in the second round, and we go to Logansport in the quarters, and I, I've got 11 in the box, and we throw for 300 yards. You got to be if you want to get to that next level. You got to be able to do both. Ways. All right, so give me some of the names, of some of those receivers who are going to have to do that. Uh, Brindale, Colin Brindale, he's a sophomore, uh, and uh, he's had a great summer. Uh, he he's going to be uh, solid for us. Um, Chase Bergeron is, is going to be a senior, and Chase is our starting free safety. But he caught six or seven passes today, and and. Uh, I'm going to have to use him some at receiver. I mean, he, he just does a good job. And if I'm going to play kids both ways, I'd like it to be defensive back and receiver. And uh, I have Daniel Ruffin, who, who played last year. And um, I've got a strong safety that's helped me out this summer, Garrett uh, Cavalier, and he's done a good job. But I would say going right now, I'd probably start Brendale. And, and uh, I, I tell you, there's another one today, Cody uh, Pesoto. And uh, Cody, I'm uh, not Cody, Brady, Cody's his brother. Brady did a real good job today at corner and, and receiver. So, you know, I, I'm a little heavy at, at, at corner and receiver, so I feel real good about that. You're going to be, you know, if your DBs are your wide receivers, your defensive line, your offensive line, it's going to be a lot of flip-flopping is there as well. Let's start in terms of who, you, on the on the offensive side of the ball, who's in that rotation for you? For offensive linemen? Line. Yeah. Well, I've got two kids. I've got um, – Ron Landry and uh, Connor Shank, and um, I'm trying to split them at one spot, and uh, so they can rest because they're they're outstanding defensive linemen, both of them. And uh, but uh, I'm young across the front, but right now those are the only two that that are split in one spot. Now I, I'm not going to say that they're going to start. They may have to start both ways the whole game. But um, I've got John Munch at center, and um, he played last year. John played last year. I've got Aaron Morrow at left tackle, and uh, I'm looking at Preston Gilly at, at guard, and I've got a ninth grader at right tackle and Spencer Woodruff. So, you know, I, I feel like I've got uh, – we're young. I mean, I go sophomore – I've got another kid that, that's playing some center and guard. He might be a utility lineman for me, but he's going to be a ninth grader, Kyle Ferris. And uh, he, he, he's, I just like him. I, I like his attitude. I like the way he works in the weight room. He's a very coachable kid, and, and he's going to have a chance to play a little bit for us. So it could be two, two ninth graders, a couple sophomores, and a senior here and there. Is it almost – That's. I mean, I'm not going to say fun, but it's kind of just – we're going to go with the young kids and we're going to get our growing pains and take our take our, our, our pain now for the learning that they can have, you know, and you're looking a year from now and two years from now. That's part about building a system and building a foundation. And, and, and you know, we, we, we as a staff, we had that, that talk yesterday and uh, I, 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 I'm not going to bypass any of you, but, but we're going to take that nucleus we got and... Uh, we're going to try to win with them now. We're not we're not caving this season, and, and you know I, I've got such a good sophomore class to mix in with about ten seniors that I feel real good with. And uh, they're tough kids, which, which makes it easier for us. They're physical, they're tough, but uh, you know the the kids that didn't come out, they they need to, to jump on the bandwagon, and are they going to be a year behind? And uh, but uh, you know we're we're, we're taking our, our I guess. Right, we're going to take some lumps, but but I also feel like we can go out and compete and, and do some things that uh, may surprise some people, and maybe not. But but yeah, we're we're going to, we're 
you know, we, we've got our solid nucleus, and there's some of them are young, some of them are The seniors are going to have to help them sophomores out and then freshmen. They're going to have to if they want to be successful, and I think they have a chance to be successful. Let's wrap it up with your linebackers and your defense and your secondary. Just some of the players that we maybe didn't talk about in your wide receiver running back, and I know there's going to be a lot of crossover there, yeah. but some of those other players that we can expect to see on that side of the ball. Well, usually my tailback, Brent, he, he'll play some strong safety. Uh, San Salvador, Justin San Salvador, he'll play some strong safety. Uh, Garrett Cavalier is, is outstanding at strong safety. Uh, does a wonderful job. He did in the spring, and I, I, he, he's, a, he's a real tough kid. Uh, Corner-wise, I've got Brendale, who, who'll play over some. Ruffin, who'll play over some. Found one today, uh, Brady Pesoto, at that, you know, we felt real good with him today. Chase Bergeron is, is playing receiver, but he, he's on my start in free safety. He does an outstanding job at free safety. He does a great job at receiver, too, but Free safety is his spot. My last question for you. Obviously, you want to win every game. There's not a coach that doesn't want to win and be competitive in every game. But what's the realistic expectation level in your head for week one, for, for year one? Is it just to try to get better each week? Yeah, there, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to have so much youth out there, so many sophomores playing that, that uh, you know, we're going to have to step up. You know, but I, my two linebackers, I, I didn't mention them. Uh, Mike Associate, who's a senior, and Jalen Thomas, who's going to be a sophomore, they do a wonderful job inside. But uh, but I think our expectation is to get better each week. We need a little success and luck early, which may carry us down the road a little bit, uh, give us some more confidence. But I think the kids are confident. Um, I, I think they trust his staff, and, and I, 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 they work hard for us. But I can't gripe about their work ethic. Their work ethic is great. Awesome. Once again, that's Charlie Cryer. He's the new head coach of Pope John Paul.